Welcome back. You're still watching Newsline right here on KTN News. Let's move on now to health matters. Children living with HIV will no longer have to contend with non-child-friendly antiretroviral therapy drugs. The good news comes courtesy of the donation of sweetened ARV drugs known as Dolutegravir or DTG. The drugs donated by the UN family and UNITAID through the Clinton Health Access Initiative are said to have several benefits including ease of administration, palatability and if taken correctly, the patient put on it is less likely to develop resistance to it. Gloria Milimo has the details. Retroviral therapy is one of the most effective tools available and often considered an essential part of efficient, sustainable HIV AIDS response. Tuesday, Kenya's effort to improve treatment outcomes among children living with HIV received a major boost in form of a donation of an antiretroviral therapy drug that is child-friendly, also known as DTG. Through the Clinton Health Access Initiative, the country has received 47,000 packs of 50 milligram and 28,000 packs of 10 milligram DTG drugs that will go a long way in facilitating treatment among this group that comprises of 106,807 children of the 1.5 million people said to be living with HIV in the country. DTG has a high potency. Remember, we are moving beyond the strawberry flavor. It's not just about the flavor. It has a high potency. It has a high genetic barrier to HIV drug resistance, and that's very important for our 100,000 children in the country. It has low toxicity. The Ministry of Health says suppression among this group of people living with HIV is low, and this can be attributed to several factors, but key is that some ARVs for children, such as lopinavir solution, have challenges of storage, palatability, as well as dosing and administration. This drug, something else that I have noticed, it, is no, it, has, it has no side effects like, uh, side effects like Students think that they are feeling nauseated or something. The government plans to roll out DTG in 12 counties, including Garissa, Homabe, Kakamega, Kiambu, Kilifi, Kisumu, Machakos, Meru, Nairobi, Nakuru, Turkana, and Wasingishu, with the remaining counties set to receive the preferred first line of ARV drugs for children next month. Despite the tremendous progress made in reducing new HIV infections among children, more still needs to be done to break the chain of infection. We sadly have had gradual increase in mother-to-child transmission rates over these uh, past four years, despite earlier gains that have been made. We have 6,806 new HIV infections among us, among us our children. This is to say that 20 children get infected daily. About 5,000 children living with HIV from the 12 counties are being targeted for the PDTG transition. Gloria Milimu, KTN News. Education CS George Magoha has appointed the law firm of former Director of Public Prosecutions Philip Murgor to act on behalf 